I love how we're like, I mean, this is a lot of pressure for somebody. The three of us call someone up like, hey, it's like the police. It's like the Italian police. <laughs> the hand-washing chickpea <laughs> tomato police. <laughs> Yeah. Your glasses. Lovely. There she, she is. Them. Yay! Okay. Before we start. I have a question, Valerie. Are you blow drying your own hair, or is somebody blow drying your hair? Me. Really? Yeah. I use this thing. It's a Revlon. It's this yeah. big machine. It's got a brush I on the end. Bought it. Does everything. It's I just amazing. Just bought this. Does it like and does it like in five minutes? You have it too, Alex. I just bought it. I haven't taken it out of the box, but I know it's the same thing. Oh, Revlon, what? Mallory? Oh, look, look it up. This is, I thought this was supposed to be about helping people cook. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna <laughs> I'd like to know how Valerie gets her hair done so well. Hi. How are you? Hi, Hi Bailey. Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> Bit of a fangirl moment. Uh, you're how are you holding up with two young children? Um, miraculously, they're actually both still napping right now, but it's not, it's not that bad. We're doing Wait, so what can we help you make? What can we help, what do you have? Um, okay, well, I'll show you um, what I have. I was hoping, and I guess I have to unblur my background a little bit. Um, it looks so nice. I was going to say, how'd you do that? I want to do that I'll with my background right now. I love how... Um, I will eat almost anything. I know that everyone says that, but I'm like, I grew up on a farm. I'm like a garbage disposal. I love food. I love cooking. So God. I'll eat almost anything. My husband's from the Midwest, so he's a little bit more picky. And then the kids will actually eat almost anything. So that's good. But, um, so Respect. I'll show you guys what I have. Woo! Um, did I you clean out your fridge before we called? I swear to God, I did not. We're a little light on vegetables right now. We have a ton of frozen veggies, so I don't know how crazy you guys want to get, but I've got carrot with the tops. Nice. I want to do this appropriate, no topless carrots. I have yellow. Um, we have celery. I have a leek in here. Oh, that's fennel. That's fennel. That's fennel. Oh, I'm sorry, fennel. No one has fennel. I'm so impressed. I love fennel. I love, I don't love underrated. Love the fact that nobody loves it. That way, I can just hoard it all for myself. <laughs> really sketchy looking thawed chicken. Um, <laughs> okay, so here's the scary pantry. Okay, here's my Giada portion of the pantry. Uh, Yay! Those are good tomatoes too. Yeah, I like those. Nice job. So I have like 80 meal suggestions from what you said. I mean, okay, I was sort of imagining you know, that you were going to say, I have a tomato and half a bottle of champagne and a jar of capers. So I, that's immediately where I go in my head. Oh, everybody has bought out every grocery store around. No one's doing that. Everybody. Yeah, I, know. I know. There's just no toilet paper and paper towels to be fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, and, oh my God. I've more, more, I put more flour or bread flour and I can't find that. I will say... I do have pasta flour, bread flour, because I- will buy bread flour from you right now. <laughs> Me too. Oh. I want to make sriracha and my recipe yeast. has got to have bread flour at AP. I'll I will, I will buy that from you right now. I'll take 250. Okay, so what do we want to make? I want that fennel in there, definitely. I just love fennel so much. I'm lying with Giada there. It's just like the flavor is just- so fab. If you have chickpeas and tomatoes, I mean, mm -hmm. I just think chickpeas and tomatoes canned, stewed together with um, your cumin. Yeah. And like chopped up fresh fennel on top of that and just like a little chickpea tomato ragu. I've never had that. I would have never thought of that. A chickpea tomato ragu. Yeah. Or, and then the go canned tomato it. with the chickpeas. Um, I kind of want to try it. Yes. I kind of want to try the ragu. I never would have thought of that. I've never used, made anything like that. And I've never used chickpeas in that way. I always kind of just throw them in like a salad. A lot of people do. Yeah, so that is exciting because I feel like that's so different. Well, <laughs> I would suggest, and please fellow Italian chicks kick in here, but could you get into some type of tomato sauce idea with onion or fennel in the base even? 
with the yeah. canned tomatoes, cook all that, drain the chickpeas and whatever spices. I mean, it could go Italian with this crowd very easily. I mean, do you think it should go Indian or Italian? I would say Italian for my family's taste because the, the kids are suspect on the Indian. He's so what should we add to the, so you have an onion, so cook an onion, maybe some garlic? I have yeah. garlic, yeah. A yellow onion garlic, I have a salad. Oh, I like you have salad. three Italian women on the phone here. We're going to want you to use that. We're going to need you to use that fennel. Yeah, I think you're going to use that fennel today. I can't so, wait. I'm hey, ready. So do shallot, garlic, and fennel. Okay. Wait. Up, are we, should I just start cooking or? Yeah, are we, making it. Okay. Go. Oh. Jada's like, get <laughs> some <laughs> Show me what I feel. Well, what's she going to serve the chickpea tomato thing on? Because she got to make it, she got to serve it over something for her family. Uh, you know, unless you think there's just gonna... How about that scary looking chicken? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get that. Let's get. Let's pound that out a little bit. Okay. Yum. You know, little salt and pepper, some olive oil. Let that sit for a while while you make the ragu, okay. and then um, and then let that sit in the olive oil and the salt and pepper, and then just throw that in the saute pan. Okay. Okay. So first, we're gonna pound out the chicken. Yeah. Yes. That was right. Okay. If it has to, yeah. Well, what kind of chicken is it? What'd she have? I, I didn't it, looked like, it looked like boneless, skinless chicken breast, so you gotta pound them out. Just to make them taste better. It's really hard to get chicken with the skin at the supermarket these yeah, days. Yeah, you don't have to pound those out. <laughs> those are so thin already. Don't pound those. They're too thin. Oh, no, don't pound good. those out. I'm wrong. Leave, oh. Leave those chicken yeah. things alone. This is like me after nursing two children. <laughs> <laughs> That was me before. So, this know. is being edited, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. We're definitely editing that in. We're not editing that out. That was no, excellent. No. Okay. <laughs> not pounding out the chicken breast. No. So no, those are already thin. You do not okay. need to pound this So should I just put these in, just put salt and pepper? Put them yeah. in a bowl. Put okay. some put some olive oil over them. Mix the olive oil all over it, and then S and PM, and then let them sit while you do the rest. S and PM. PM. After you olive oil the chicken, you can't, or you just do one hand. You can't touch. Yeah, don't touch your salt and pepper after you've touched the chicken. I'm washing my hands. I'm in, I'm trying to be fast. Um, that was washing hands. <laughs> My family survived COVID-19, but I killed them by salmonella with me. <laughs> so now you don't have to touch your chicken. You can just use the tongs and your hands will stay clean. <clears throat> okay, S and P, yeah. S and P. Okay, so we've got chicken in olive oil in a bowl with salt and pepper. Great. We haven't touched it. Great job. I just woke up from her nap. This is Georgia. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh. What? She oh. like a redhead. She is. She's oh, got a Hi, my kid. Hey, hi. Hi. Smells so good. Smells, yeah. smells better than the top of your child's head. Mm. Nothing. Yeah. That no. is aromatherapy. So we're chopping the onion and the garlic. Cool. Is there an Let's order of operation? Do I do the whole onion? We do. Oh, that's a big mama. Let's just do half of that. And leave the skin on the other half so you can keep it longer. Okay. You know, in the fridge, you'll peel it when you want to use the other half. But half of that is cool. Slice it up into like half moons. Half moons, okay. And then a clove or two of garlic, depending how big, sliced up into just rounds. It's kind of nice to have the texture of the onions and the garlic. We don't really want to make them disappear so much. And I think, uh, I don't know, a little of that fennel, just even, sometimes I just slice a few, you know, slices off the top, thin, and I save the rest of the bulb for something else because a little fennel goes a long way. Alex loves to slice her garlic. I never slice my garlic. I smash, I peel, and that's it. I don't. You know, I can't smash. It. I just can't. Why? It's, it's if I don't smash it, it doesn't. The skin doesn't come off of it. Yeah, I smash too. I can't do it. I just was trained not like yeah, in France. We don't do that. that. French don't do that. I've, I've been French. delicate. Yeah, it's like I've been. I've, it's like, <laughs> I've been through the military. I just can't forget. Yeah. But I think slice up half the onion and a couple cloves of garlic and just get them cooking in a little yeah. olive oil. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the goal would be a two pan dish, one for the chicken and one for the sauce. And we'll see you later. Dinner is ready. I love that. Yeah. Come on. Fennel, garlic, onion ready. So we're putting that over in a pan with olive oil over medium. 
Yeah, do you have yeah. like a little Dutch oven or something? I do. Dutch put, it in, oven. put it in that. It'll make it easier. Okay, so I'm heating my olive oil, which will be hot soon. Did you add some salt to those um, to those aromatics, to the, the onion, the garlic, just a little salt to soften them? You know, just to see they start sweating, otherwise they burn in that pan. Okay, once I put them in or put it, put it salt on now? You can put the onions in now. Don't put the garlic in yet, but put the onions in now. After it all in. Me too. I'm like, forget it. F it. All three of those go in. Oops, oh, sorry. God, it always makes me nervous because I literally burn garlic all the time. Yeah, but if, you, I if, I don't, if I don't cook something else first. Yeah, but, but, but Valerie, if you, if you put it in with the onion and the fennel, it almost acts like a bed for the garlic. So yeah. usually fine. I just throw it all in, a little salt, da -da -da, move it on to the next step. <laughs> Listen to those two, not me. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's, this is the fun part. All three have It's interesting to find different people's yeah. techniques. Because I know, you know. You never think about it. You just end up in your own sort of lane and you just stay there. So it's really good. Yeah. Listen, I'm learning tonight too. This is fun for me. <laughs> I'll you guys something with it. I get, I get to learn from Guarnaschelli and Giada. This is super cool. You are, guys already probably know that this is garlic and I just grew it from one of these from the store. That's Lovely. Look how cute you are. See, she really did grow up on a farm. First with your blouse and now the garlic. I can't. <laughs> She's draining the chickpeas, but don't add them in. I love how we're like, I mean, this is a lot of pressure for somebody. The three of us call someone up like, hey, it's like the police. It's like the Italian police. <laughs> the hand-washing chickpeas. <laughs> <tomato police. laughs> hi! Oh, hi, little one. Can you say hi? You want to be AJ? He's like, Mom, what are we having chickpeas? <laughs> I know, I can't wait to see that. All right, so what do you, what seasoning do you like? You want to do some oregano? Yes, I like oregano. Oh, like oregano. Okay, what do, vegetable? Oregano. do you want to add some cumin? Sure. Do you want to help me with the spices, mister? No. No, okay. You know, you don't really think about it, but part of the reason why it's hard to get dinner on the table is because you have the distraction of everybody around you. Cats. People, <laughs> children, dogs. That's what makes it harder, too. I feel like we never talk about that. But remember, when, remember the long time ago, that's why moms used to be like, everybody just get out. Just get out of here, and I'll yeah. call you a Because truly, they were a giant distraction. And it was hard to, like, manage everybody and think about what you're doing and kind of yeah. get on, you know, at a time. Okay. So I can't find my cumin. Okay, you have, you have oregano. I have oregano. You know I love garlic powder. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, I do too. Salt and everything. You have any garlic powder? Cause yes. I I like fresh garlic mixed with garlic powder. I'm all about it. So I fresh will put you. garlic so powder. So fresh of you, Alex. I will put garlic, garlic powder, powder and oregano, granulated garlic and fresh garlic together. I don't care. It's not date night when I'm but doing you that. You don't like stuff. garlic salt. That's the one you don't like. No, that's that's just that's a no for me. Why you like that? I, I like garlic salt. Everything. I thought it was like everybody does. I won't say I don't have it. I didn't say I use it often, but if you looked at my pantry or my in my spice drawer, I wouldn't say I don't have it. Yeah, okay. I, I love garlic salt. You okay. can throw a little garlic salt on your just breast. Shakes. Just a couple Ooh. shakes. Yeah, so yeah, do it. Uh, yes. By the way, I open my spice drawer and I pretty much grab whatever. I have like the baking spices on one and the savory on the other, and whatever I grab, that's what we're getting. Okay. <laughs> Alpha ties mine. You do not, do you? Brown a little bit. Do you alphabetize your spices, Jada? Fess up. Uh, when I moved into this rental, yes, I did. Now it's all. It's all. Are they? Are they <laughs> color coded? They were at one point. I'm, I tried to be very honest, <laughs> but then within, within like two weeks, it's like it's all over the place. But I do try. Okay. Like I'm quite organized to a certain degree where. Yeah, I have like all of the the you know, like basil and oregano and all those together, and then I have all the hot stuffs and the hot yeah. oils, and I have all the oils to one side, just so I know where to at least go in what vicinity. So where are you at with your um, okay. how soft yeah, are the onions? Uh, onions are looking like they're getting translucent. Yum, and it smells I can so smell good. It. Okay, and then we're getting um, they're starting to like 
caramelize a little bit, like a little bit of just browning and yumminess smells so good. Everything is just looking thin and delicious. All right. Is so the fennel starting to get a little bit translucent too? The fennel? Yes. Okay, good. Just starting, yeah. Okay, so what are you ready for now? Go for the tomato. Add them in. Now, do you guys add a little sugar to your tomatoes or what? Let's just okay. mess up. No, I'm I don't sorry. like it. It depends on how, how acidic the tomatoes are. Ooh. Shut down. Okay, do uh, I, add I usually I try with a carrot first, but in times like this where I have to be a little stingy with my ingredients, sugar. Okay. Yeah. I Wait. just add more butter. I, I add butter sometimes too at the end if need be. Yeah, I always, always, always add butter. Do I just put the whole can in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And can, do you have any vinegar? Like a little yeah. red wine or a, apple cider, yeah. whatever. Just a <laughs> dash of vinegar right now to just kind of like let everybody know who's boss. When I'm cooking um, and I don't want to use alcohol, <laughs> I, I always add a splash of vinegar instead. Yeah. Okay, so am I smashing? I'm smashing the tomatoes, yeah? Yeah, you as can. They, as they cook, I crush them a little with a spoon, personally. I don't mind the chunk and the texture here. Okay. I kind of like it. Depends on whether your kids will like it or not. Some children I would get some scissors out and start slicing them up. Yeah, scissors works too. For what, the tomatoes? Yeah, just yeah. like that. Just give them a little slice. Haircut. Ooh. No, nope. start searing the chicken. That's what I was going to say. Get started on the chicken. Heat that pan up and get that chicken in. Then you can and it spins, it'll go fast. Yeah, it'll cook quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna put the chicken on. Okay. Let's get that oil nice and hot first. I don't hear a sear. Is it hot? Is the pan hot enough? <laughs> Is that pan hot? <laughs> like really, 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 <laughs> well, really hot. Hot enough. I'm, well, I'm. Is the pan hot, Bailey? Yeah, I think it's really hot, guys. Bailey, confess about the pan. We need to know. Pan's f***ing hot, ladies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been having a hot enough pan for my chicken all these years. Yeah, the, yeah that's yeah, one of the pan. biggest things is that protein doesn't stick. When you get the oil hot, it won't stick to the bottom of the pan. I feel like I say that more than many I, other things. I think people are afraid of heating up a pan. They really, I get it. They're like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn it. I get it. Heat it up, throw that thing in there, it'll be fine. Okay. <gasps> Look how cute. Hi there. How old are you? I want to TV. You want to watch TV? I, did he just say he wants to put Food Network on? Such a smart child. He did, he said, <laughs> Smart child. <laughs> very, on, very on brand. Wrong day. Is the supermarket steak on on or is it this is the wrong day? Ah, uh, you got jokes. It's on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. Okay, it's hot, hot. That sounds good. I like that sizzle. Smells insane. Oh, do you want to stand and help me a little bit? No? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Come right here. I this remember the days of cooking with a baby on a hip and trying to cook. Oh, no. I have yep. this like stool for him so that he can. Yeah. That way. I'm going to have my daughter. I'm going to be on my daughter's hip soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should I flip the chicken? I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, does it look okay on the other side? It smells right. good. Ah! It's definitely browning. Good. That's good. That's what you want. <laughs> Why you look scared, Bailey? Don't be afraid. I'm like, I cook chicken every single night, and now I'm nervous. But we're all staring at her. I mean, for <laughs> poor woman. When do we add the chickpeas? How's the tomato taste? At this point, you've got to taste that tomato base and see if you want to adjust the seasoning. We want to toss those chickpeas in the cooked tomato base just for a few minutes, and that's just it. Just warm them up, right? Yeah, get a little, you know, take the that's chill from the oven off them, get them, get them a little melded with that tomato. Maybe get some of that basil. Hold on, buddy. The basil should be at the very absolute last minute. You don't want to cook that basil at all. I don't think you need to. I love basil that's not cooked, just fresh. Yeah. It's <laughs> unbelievable with tomatoes and great with chickpeas, I think, too. I always put basil in my romaine salads. I just, I love, yeah. love basil in salads. I don't think people do it enough. I agree. 
I feel like it needs a little more seasoning, like maybe more oregano. Then so add it. A little flat. Okay. Have did garlic you have a splash of vinegar. And garlic. Garlic <laughs> salt. <laughs> Did you, Alex, did it's you, underrated. Needs more vinegar, Alex? No, I said, did she add a splash of vinegar? I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, pinch of garlic salt, I guess. <laughs> oh, I love it. She can use um, the granulated garlic you told her about that she said she had. I used, 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 used garlic powder. Anyway, garlic tomatoes are in Bye-bye. Oh, you want to say, like, Okay, bye, bye. say bye-bye, like, like, get off See you, ladies! <laughs> Cute. That's better. Really good. I never would have used these ingredients this way. I'm so excited. Let me see. Oh, those look good! Beautiful! Gorgeous. They're gorgeous! Okay. Here's the deal. Mmm. I always have to cut into my chicken to know if it's done. I know no. you're supposed to do this whole thing and I can't. I'm paranoid. No. It's gonna be under do you, have a, do you have a meat thermometer? If you're really paranoid, get a meat thermometer and just stick it in the fattiest part, the biggest part. It should be it should read 162 or 165 and then you can take it off. Well, actually what I was gonna say is exactly what Valerie said plus one more thing, which is um, pour Hold, do you, are you cooking with a pair of tongs? Yes. Yeah, hold the two chicken breasts down with the tongs. Mm. Yeah. And then um, drain off the excess grease in the chicken pan. And then literally pour that whole tomato ragu over the chicken. So you're almost stewing the chicken in the tomato mix so that it, it sort of steam cooks and brings it home. Because you got the flavor from browning your chicken. Okay. You get it? So you're making it a one pan meal now. Does that make sense? Yeah, so we're adding the, and we haven't put in the chickpeas yet, right? You can put them in if you're at the point where you suspect your chicken is cooked and the tomatoes need a few more minutes. But what I'm really looking for is to pick up all the juices from cooking that chicken and that pan. I want to pick all that up in my sauce. I don't want to, I want that in my mouth, not, not in the garbage. Yeah. Right. It's almost like deglazing, but instead of deglazing with booze or whatever, you're deglazing with your sauce. But get that excess grease out of the chicken pan first, so oh, right. your overall dish isn't greasy. Oh. And it's sort of like a cachatory adjacent thing, mm. kind of by accident. I would so put all that chicken grease into the ragu. I would have done it too. Oh, well, yeah. then do that. Well, why don't you? Okay, I just it's so much flavor in there. Okay, poor. I mean, I just yeah, didn't want to throw it away. Empty. I didn't. It's in a it's in a glass bowl with olive oil, but perfect. Pour it back in if I'm just. I would have just ladled some of the sauce into that hot pan, mixed it all together, and then I probably just would have dumped it all back in and been done yeah. it. Yeah. Or just put it on the plates and then finished it off with more ragu and some crusty bread or something. Oh yeah! Wow, oh, that, that looks, looks beautiful. beautiful. Great! Like God, that's, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. That's it. In okay. spite of us, you made a good dish. I <laughs> think <laughs> same time next week. I love this. <laughs> Wait, taste it. Taste it. Did you put the chickpeas in? I did, I did. I just okay. went before I, I poured them into that. Okay. <laughs> this is the most over-examined chicken dish in America. So, did you? CSI chicken. <laughs> How is it? Really good. It's really good. The chickpea and the fennel add totally different dynamic I wouldn't have imagined. The chickpea has the te a texture too that I never would have added that I love, and it gets like almost a, like a crunch and a creamy ness to it. Ness, yes. like that ness. You sound like a chop judge right now. <laughs> and then, so just finish it off with a um, some ripped up basil, and you have your dish. And we're ready to go. <gasps> oh, ladies, thank you so much. You crushed I mean, you it. Could, you could do what Valerie does, and you could finish it also with a little little piece of butter if you really wanted to. Yes. Uh, that's like my uh, tomatoes and butter. They so were good. just nice stewed together. It might be good for the kids just because it makes it a little bit like creamier or velvety on their. Because sometimes tomato sauce for kids is a little 
Jade would never eat it until she was older. She just thought Ava. it was too, like... Yeah, Ava. Accurate too. almost on the tongue. Yeah. Mm, these guys it just it relaxes some of the acidity better than sugar, in my opinion. How it much? A little bit. We're talking one tablespoon to half a tablespoon. A tablespoon, a a tablespoon, tablespoon. going to do it. And if you feel like you need more, you can add more, but a tablespoon should do the trick. Do you, you want to I want to try a bite. I'm really jealous I can't be there to try okay. a bite. Try a bite. I'd like to see it on a plate, and then we're done. Okay. Yeah. Real quick on a plate. Yeah. Ah, ladies. Hey. This woman was so equipped. Her life is better than mine. (laughs) (laughs) The Night Rider. What music is that? Night Rider. Night Rider. Stop it. Is that your (laughs) ringtone? Yes. I love it. Girlfriend put it on and I've never been able to remove it. Sure, your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. And most of what you use was from the pantry, which yep. is always great. Oh my god, oh that looks beautiful. So good. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we see it? I love hot food too. Ooh. So underrated. Wow. Yum. Yeah. Great job. Crushed it. You you did. You nailed it. That's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> I finished it with some grated Parmesan cheese just because I love cheese. But you don't have to do that. That's just because I like that. Absolutely cheese. I love Parmesan. It looks fantastic, Bailey. Great job. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese and then tea. I love that. (laughs) And you guys can... I'm getting closer. I'm I'm trying to see it again. I know. I'm not going to show you. You want to smell it. Okay. A little bit of parm. Okay, you want to see one more time? Yeah. Can I live with you? Yeah. Wow. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Impressive. Great job. Great job, Bailey. Room, we're, we're definitely, would love to have you. I'm going to take a taste, and then we can go. I'm so excited. I'm so oh, perfectly correct. Oh, I'm going to go downstairs and make the same thing. This is so good, you guys. Yeah. Very elegant. What an elegant oh, good. Took. oh, I love it. Oh, it's good. Not, yeah, it's fantastic. The butter, the butter, like, cut just a little bit of the acidity, but really, really oh, delicious. Fantastic. Totally comfort food. I love this. But, like, light comfort food. Yeah. You guys, so yeah, much. Well done. Congratulations. Great job. Thank Great you. Job. Thank you so much. You guys stay safe. Good luck with everything. Thank you, you too. Nice Nice meeting you. Nice Nice meeting you. you. Thanks. All right, guys. Bye, guys. That was fun. Now I'm going to go make dinner. Yeah, me too. She hung up. She's like, I'm done. (laughs) 